Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Mana Swept Island in Terraria. I have found an underground shack in the middle of this ice cave. And we are going to- Ow! We are going to explore it. I still have no idea, by the way, what my key binding is for a potion, so... I very well could die here. Oh, I didn't realize this guy shot ice shards out at you. You guys are more dangerous than I thought. Let me get out of here. Ouch! Two dart traps! Ow, I stepped on it again! Why would I do that? Ah, <laughs> oh, great start to an episode. Well, we'll be coming back there anyway. We need to make an armor stand for this Ninja Turtle outfit. Let's see... Where is iron? Silver bars... And... Iron bars. Things are going good! are going pretty good. I still wish I could make some pumpkin weapons, but... I'm satisfied with the armor. Because it's ridiculously powerful. Hello, slime. Boring, regular slime. Stupid squirrel. Don't run towards the turtle. Turtles are now your natural enemy. Because I am a turtle. Let's see, I guess I can just go through here. Make a back door area. Back door tunnel. None of those sound good anyway. Back door area, back door tunnel. It's gonna sound dirty no matter what. There we go. It's one of more of those creep Is that the new demon altar? I don't honestly know. It's weird looking, whatever it is. But it glows really bright. Might be more iron. Yep, more iron. Goody goody. skeleton with a miner's helmet. But we're not going that way. We're going this way because this is the way to adventure. And I activate another poison trap. Great. Yeah, you know, I should just have this up in my bar. Platinum chandelier. Ooh. And a tungsten chandelier? How do you use tungsten to make a chandelier? Let's go 
close that door. Hello, undead miner. You have a lot of life. So you're gonna take a little bit more effort to kill than I would really like to give. Ah! Undead Viking. He opened the door. And there's all these snowflakes. Ow! They hurt. They hurt a lot. Where did them go flying? <laughs> That's so comical. I wish I had a baseball bat. I got sunflowers. Hey. Stop opening the door. You're gonna let all the creepies in. If you can keep opening the door, then I'm just gonna go ahead and... Now try to open that door. Can't, can you? It's because it won't open now. It's blocked. Let me click in these chests a piece. Oh, suspicious looking eye. Arcane ice gate. Okay then. I'm guessing it's an accessory. <laughs> kind of weird. Gold coin, I will take that. Archery potion. Yeah, I'll take that as well. Ice torches, those are pretty cool to have. And the suspicious looking eye, definitely the best thing to find in this chest. Here we have some regular healing potions. Platinum bars. Angry ice skates. <laughs> I can't equip those. Alright, so I need to sh shove some things into this chest. I'm going to put ice in there because that's kind of garbage. Although, ice blocks are a material. I'll keep those, I guess. Vertebrae? Eh, whatever. I'll get rid of those. Pressure plates as well, because I'm not doing anything with wiring anytime soon. Get rid of the water leaf. Take the ice skates, because I can sell those at least. Visibility potion, healing potion, and bars. Yes, I want to keep those. A lot more chests in here. Silver chandelier. Uh, garbage. There's even an anvil and a workbench there. This is pretty awesome. Now, this could be a home away from home if I wanted it to be. Oh, we have another suspicious eye! Let's see, rash blizzard in a... Allows you to double... A blizzard in a bottle allows you to double jump. Oh, I'll take it! More platinum bars, that's pretty cool. Jester's arrows, those will help a lot. a lot of copper over here. So we found some pretty awesome loot. Uh, I suppose next time I am off camera I will work on I will work on making a battle area for the Eye of Cthulhu because we can now fight the Eye of Cthulhu if we want to. Hooray! I, I suppose. We have a lot of stuff to haul back to base, so we better get going. And by we, I mean I. So you guys aren't helping me carry any of this stuff. Ow! I did it again. Just 
special. Success gates do help a lot. I guess they were definitely worth finding. Alright, but back home to the nice grassland area. So I'm wearing two different sets of shoes, aren't I? Yeah, I'm wearing two shoes. I'm wearing shoes and ice skates. Don't ask, I'm just doing it. <sighs> so, Tanner, I have some questions for you. These ice blocks, what can I use to make them use frozen slime blocks? Ah, ice bricks, that's kind of cool. And the torches, I should have guessed that. How do you get a slime block, though? What's slime block good for? Actually, here's a good question. These are able to be... What are lightning boots? Allows flight? <laughs> awesome! And when you combine it, you get frost spark boots, which allow flight, super fast running, and extra mobility on ice. With 7% increased movement speed. Wow. Or arctic diving gear, if you combine it with the jellyfish diving gear grants you the ability to swim and greatly extends underwater breathing and provides light underwater. That's pretty cool. Very cool. I am getting a lot of lag all of a sudden. Hmm. Pretty freaking awesome. Ugh, the lag. Pause recording and see if it helps. Not one bit. It did not help at all. Ugh. Give me a second. I emptied my recycling bin to see if that helped. See, I was gonna ask about platinum bars too. I can make a platinum. I can make a platinum pick right away, which can mine meteorite. Cool. A diamond staff. Twenty-eight match. That is a lot of damage compared to what I can currently do. See, what's this sword do right now? About 12, but it's a little bit slow. That's pretty awesome. And it is magic, which is cool, because then I can actually start being a mage lord. A platinum watch will tell you the time. A platinum crown is... A platinum crown. Chandelier. A throne! Because... Why not? <laughs> That. Hey, leave my merchant alone. I need to sell him some shoes. Howard? I have to sell to you some traps and a pair of skates. Wow, that actually sells for a lot. Jeez. Um, I can sell you these goldfish as well. Visibility potion, which I probably will never use. I'm gonna get rid of this rain hat. It's just kind of, kind of a funny item. Not really meant for anything useful. That I will keep because I will probably do arrows when I'm fighting Ivor. We are about to be attacked by another slime, so we'll be right back. Are you serious? There's another slime on the way. I'm gonna buy this sickle because I'm very curious about it. Uh, here, I don't need these. Oh, oh I have another goodie bag. I should open that. I have the leprechaun hat! <laughs> uh, this is awesome! I need to keep all that stuff. Uh, sorry, just in my chair a bit. Let's see. I don't care about the painting very much, but I'm going to keep that anyway, because 
You know, I might want to make it a little gallery area just for the fun of it. We're getting a little bit of lag again, but I think everything will turn out fine. Alright, let's put the leprechaun gear in here. Now, I've been forgetting to grab my gravestone. Oh no. Everyone, get inside. Howard, do not hug that nurse. Tanner, Tanner, get inside. Tanner, get inside. Tanner, 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 get inside. We do not want to be out here right now. Tanner, you're about to die. Why is he just standing there? Tanner is broken. Uh, so many clicks. Again, Tanner, you're dead. Okay, we're safe now. Tanner, I'm sorry, you're dead. You, you're an idiot. You're a complete waste of oxygen, you idiot. I regret ever giving you a room. So, for those who don't know, a blood moon is a very dangerous thing which causes a lot more zombies to spawn. Which can be a good thing if you have the equipment to take them out very easily and get a lot of loot for free, basically. But, I don't really have that yet. And, they can break down doors. Which means they can get inside and kill all your villagers. And, as you saw, Tanner was a complete idiot and went out and just died. Hey, I have a zombie banner. There! I hang up a zombie banner! Don't attack this place! We are on your side! <laughs> I don't think that's gonna work. Oh boy. So, I have a couple things I need to do. I need to make an arena to fight the Eye of Cthulhu at, and I need to make a second room, or at least finish the second room, so that the nurse can move in. I also need to look at making a more defendable base. Something strong and solid, able to fend off a zombie horde like this. It's probably going to require iron doors, which I think are a thing, but I can't really do anything about that right now. So, I'm going to end this episode here <laughs> as I wait out the zombie horde build night before I start building things. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video so far, and this series so far. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and fave. I will see you next time. Take care. Goodbye.